Hello everyone. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to start another interesting topic. The use of expression in Fluent. You know that there are a lot of functions available in Fluent, but they are not always sufficient. So sometimes you need to use UDF to increase the functionality of Fluent. And uh, to use UDF, you need to have some command on programming language such as C++ or C. So there is another way in Fluent that you can use to increase the functionality that is the use of expression. Although you cannot get all those functionality as of UDF, but still it is very helpful. So most of your problem can be solved using expression. So in this video series, I will go through a couple of examples, starting from very basic to advanced to understand how you can use expression in different scenarios. So let's see what example we are going to see in this video. I will go through four different examples to show how you can use expression in Fluent. So starting with very basic example, so I will show you how you can use expression to define variable time step depending upon your different condition. Then in second example, I will show you how you can use expression to define parabolic velocity profile. Uh, normally you use uh, UDF, but same you can do by using expression. Then in example three, it is a little bit complexer. So what we will do so I will show you how you can change flow rate based on the temperature of battery cells. So what exactly we will do? So I have shown here this example. You can see there are two battery cells, uh, lithium ion battery. So let's say battery cell one and battery cells two. They are generating heat and they have they are being cooled on by using a cooling fluid. Cooling fluid is entering for, from here and it is leaving from this side battery cells are in direct contact with the cooling fluid actually the cooling fluid is a dielectric fluid it means battery cells can come in direct contact with this cooling fluid in this example we want to control the temperature of this battery cell let's say at 40 degrees celsius so we will write an expression this expression will check the temperature of this battery cell let me bring a pointer so this expression will check the temperature of this battery cell, let's say after 15 or 20 iteration, and we'll see what is the temperature of this cell. If the temperature of this cell would be higher than the 40 degrees Celsius, so this expression will increase the flow rate. Or if the temperature of uh, the battery cell is lower than the 40 degree Celsius, so it will increase the flow rate. So it means we will change the flow rate based on the temperature to control this the temperature of this battery cell at 40 degree Celsius. So that's what I meant from the control the flow rate based on the temperature of battery cell. So in example four, what we will do? So we will manipulate the inlet temperature based on the outlet temperature and the external cooling system. So what does it mean? So again in this example, so here for example the cooling fluid is leaving the system at some temperature let's say 35 degrees Celsius and we are saying that the inlet cooling is entering at the constant inlet temperature but that is not the case in reality. In reality what happens the cooling fluid at the outlet leaves the system then normally we have Normally, we had some uh, external cooling system. The cooling fluid is cooled down and then it enters at the inlet. And the temperature of the inlet depends on the cooling system, what we have and the outlet temperature. So it means cooling inlet temperature will not be constant, but it will be dependent on the outlet temperature as well as on the cooling system. So we will see how we can simulate this one by using expression so let's start with our first example of the variable time step it is a, a one line uh, expression and pretty much straightforward and one more thing in expressions we will use a lot of time uh, if condition so let 
me tell you if condition is pretty much straightforward in uh, expression how does it work so let me show you here so that's how normally it works so you define or i mean syntax if condition if here is condition then true and false so that is the syntax it means if then you have this uh, uh, small brackets here you define your condition and this expression will check the condition if the condition will true it will use this value if the condition is false so it will use this second value that's the general syntax of the if condition so let's go to our first example of the variable timestamp i have taken same example so i have already prepared this case so i'm not going into the geometry and meshing so we will also see the 3d case of this same example so what we want to see so here you can see these are two battery cells this one and this one and cooling fluid is entering from here and it is leaving from the other side and at the start we want and this one is the transient case so we want to run, run a transient simulation and uh, we want to set a time step at the start of the simulation very small time step and we want to increase this time step after some time so there are two ways one you can use adaptive time settings so adaptive time sets time steps so here you don't have any control the software will change the time step by its own so otherwise you can do it by yourself so let's say we want to uh, control our time step in such a way that uh, when our time is less than let's say three seconds so we want to use a time step of 0.1 second and when the time is greater than 3 seconds so we want to use 0.5 second so we will use the exactly the same condition so for example if condition so what we want to say we want to say if time is less than 3 second so use 0.1 second otherwise use 0.5 second so we can use exactly the same condition so we can copy paste for example let's go over here and in our case so let's go to the so to define expression how you define expression so here is our time step size so when you go to the drop down you can see over here expression so or expression over here so we will we want to create a new expression so you will go and say new expression so when you will click new expression you get this window so you can do a lot of thing in this window so we will see with the time how we can use so at top you write the name of your expression so let's say we call it delta t and here you write your expression so let's write our expression completely so if you always write if in capital so when you write something and it is already available so you get this notification so you can see if is already here so for if then small brackets and then we want to define um, simulation time so when you will press time you can see so this one is the internal variable so it recognize uh, expression recognize t and it will use t as a simulation time so you can use t t less than 3 so here you write you always write uh, units along with your quantity so we want to use 3 seconds so you can also write for example like let's say one and minute so you can use whatever unit you like but uh, we want to keep it uh, in seconds so let's say when time is less than three seconds then comma 0.1 second comma 
So when time is less than 3 seconds, the time step should be 0.1 second. Otherwise, how much it should be? So we said otherwise it should be 0.5 second. So you can see there is no error. It means uh, our, uh, there is no error. There is no error in our expression. So once you have written this expression, you can click OK. So before clicking OK, you can see there are a lot of things over here. So these are some internal functions. So for example, condition, you can use different condition and if not or and so on. So we will go through some of these condition in next example. So there here are mathematical operation. So absolute exponential floor and a lot of log min max mod step. So these are all these function. Then reduction. So you, for example, you can calculate area, area average, and all these function you can utilize. There are trigonomet trigonometric function, and for example, here some variables are available. So we are using time. So time variable is there, and pressure and density. So a lot of variables are already readily available. So we can use over here some constant values. For example, pi, general gas constant, Avogadro number, Boltzmann, and all these constant. Uh, if you have previously defined any expression, so you can ref use this, that expression over here. Then report definition. So as I said, we will go few of them in next examples. So we have written our expression and we can say, OK. So it means we will be expecting 0.1 second for the time less than three second and 0.5 second for the time when the simulation time is greater than three second okay so let's run this simulation so delta t is here let's run this simulation for 50 time steps and uh, 20 iterations so i'm not going into these settings but uh, one thing we want to plot the uh, delta t so that we can see so for that here in report definition we already have delta t so we can create a plot for this uh, i have already created so if you go over here uh, report plot so i have created plot for delta t it means it will plot the delta t for each time step so click ok so let's initialize our simulation and run so initialize and calculate okay simulation is running so let's wait little bit it has started so over here huh? so you can see right now the time step is 0.1 second and here you can see flow time so our simulation time at the moment one second 1.2 and uh, you will see till three second the time step will remain 0.1 and it is increasing to so just let's see so it means at three second it will jump to the 0.5 and now you can see it is at 0.5 second so it means you can define whatever condition in here in time steps and that you can use so you can use you can write a udf for this time step but i think uh, with the use of uh, if you can use expression, you don't need UDF to define different time step. So this concludes our example one, where we have seen how we can use the expression to define delta t. I will stop here and we will continue with the rest of the portion in the second part of the video. Thank you.